We will consider ourselves in session of the Knox County Physical Court, April the 26th, 2011, at 10 a.m. Clerk, would you call the room? Mr. Sama. Here. Mr. Abner. Here. Mr. Cox. Here. Judge Hall. Here. Mr. McDonald. Here. Mr. Gilbert. Here. All right. We do have four. Uh, at this time, we have our citizens' comments. Do you have anybody like to bring anything for the court? Okay. Yes, sir. I'll State your name. Dennis Gibson. Dennis Gibson. Right store. Uh, I'll just go ahead and read what I have to say. Okay. And we're going to comment on it. Fine. It's not fine. Members of the physical court, thank you for giving me the time to speak here today. Why am I here today? Judge Hall called me at work on March 15th in the morning around 10 a.m. He proceeded to try to chew my hair off. Never been. He had every right to call me, but that's about all, because he didn't have his facts straight. He was telling me some of the lies was being told on him. I hadn't heard remarks, and I don't control what people say. He accused my nephew, Cole Gibson, of being in the park with me when I saw the park had been sprayed with a chemical. I was by myself. That was on about Tuesday, April the 12th. His closing remarks was what really bothered me. He told me that I should move to a communist country. And he repeated it twice. I told him I don't think so. You want to he had? He said they sprayed down there. He didn't want the children playing in it or the people walking in it. Uh, the spray was bought at Walmart called a laminator. Uh, it said once it dried, it's safe for pets, children's, it's not harmful. So he had everyone terrified and scared. The next thing that Mr. Gibson asked me is he said, you as a physical court won't stand up to political heat, such as the smoking ban in Knox County. He said, you all wouldn't vote to make Knox County a smoke-free county. I told him the fiscal court had done their part, and we made this courthouse smoke-free. We made it tobacco-free. We voted on that several years ago. Uh, we took the smoking room out, which is out there. We did do our part. Uh, he was talking about people going around in cars smoking with their kids. I told him when it comes to smoking in someone's cars or someone's home, I said, that's a dictatorship. I am not for it. Whatever you want to do in your own car or your own home, I feel like that you should be able to do it. As far as a public building, as a post office, as a courthouse, schools, they are smoke free, they should be. They're taxpayers' money paid for it. But if you buy a building, you pay for it yourself, you pay your own property tax, someone shouldn't tell you what you can do with it. I told him if he wanted to be in a dictatorship, that you should move to another country where they have a dictatorship. And that's my feelings on it, and that's what we'll say. When it happened, I called Pat McDonald, he was out in the yard at the moment. I went to his house and I told him what had happened. He said, I found out what kind of spray that was. The next evening, he called me. He said, they said it was the same kind of spray that they, you, that jury used down there last year. They had got up at the county garage. And he's fined $500. That's right. That's right. And he's in the process now of getting his license and it's legal with spray, so he's going to get his license, and he's log in, and then everything will be fine. Report to the court that uh, Dean Jordan Ford, uh, County Firm out of Lexington and Louisville, presented a feasibility study last night, and the project is feasible, and we're ready to move forward with USDA. And I just asked the court, so I thank the court for your patience. We started in December and just finished the work up last week. So uh, it's been a task, but it's been a good task, and it's a good report, and I'm uh, very proud of it. Thank you all. To authorize the judge executive's permission to advertise for bids for fiscal year 2011 2012, uh, which will be our crushed limestone, our concrete. Uh, number one will be our limestone, <coughs> two will be concrete hot mix. Uh, I should say asphalt. It should say asphalt. It says asphalt concrete. 
Then we have our coal mix in three, drainage pipe four, uh, dump trucks is five, backhoes is six, bulldozers is seven, concrete is eight, excavator work is nine. You just need the authorization to go ahead and advertise for business. Make a motion. Have a motion by Manager for Second. Second by Manager. This pertains to the January 6th meeting on approval of the million dollar line of credit with the Knox County Hospital Operating Corporation. <coughs> they were just now getting the paperwork down the pipe on that one that was approved on January the 6th. Uh, it's ordinance number 2011104261, an ordinance <coughs> of the physical court of the County of Knox, Kentucky, providing for the assurance of its County of Knox County, Kentucky, Taxable General Obligation Notes, Series 2011, for the purpose of providing financing for the operation and maintenance of the Knox County Hospital, 